Hi everybody, welcome back to Daily Diabetic Diva. I'm certainly happy that you are here with me today and that I am here with you today. It's good that we're all in this together. I have certainly been hearing that term a lot lately. We're in this together. Uh, even before pandemic though, we've been in it together despite this fight against diabetes. Since pandemic though, it has taken me some time to adjust and that's why there was an absence of me posting anything. But I'm here today with you and I'm ready to start moving forward on what we need to do to continue our fight against diabetes. Today I'm gonna to be discussing about the vitamins and the minerals that I take on a daily basis uh, just to help me go throughout my day to keep uh, everything functioning, keep everything healthy, and keep me feeling as if I am in this fight, I'm in this fight to win it. And so I will begin with what I start my morning with an acidophilus. I like these, these are chewables. I take three of them as the dose is, uh, is said on the bottle. They're chewy, they're fruity, I enjoy them, why not, they're fun. Also, I take them because I feel like they assist with the next two items that I consume. That next item is a probiotic for the belly. And I take this because it helps me with stomach issues that I've had over the years. I was hard-headed and not wanting to take probiotics. I was in what part of the, the thought that they really aren't helpful, it's just a gimmick, they just want you to buy, they're not really going to assist in your body, but for me, it turned out that yes, they do. Probiotics um, do help me. They help with the functioning of digestion. Uh, I noticed immediately that it assisted with the, the belly bloat, some of the discomfort, um, and I am glad that I started to take it. The next item that I take is a probiotic for women's health. And I definitely needed this. If you're someone like me in this age, and we're going through that final stage in life of puberty is what I like to call it. I definitely needed something to help uh, keep everything healthy in that most sacred spot of our bodies. I'm glad I was uh, advised to try it out and see if it would work, and it has. I would suggest it to every woman to keep our area very healthy, blooming, beautiful, wonderful, yes, yes, all of that. That's what you want to do. And that uh, probiotic for women's health definitely helps. The next item I take is a milk thistle. This is my little wonder amazement pill in the morning that I enjoy taking as well. I take it because I read that it's supposed to help with liver function, that it helps flush out toxins, that it helps with the uh, processing of sugars in our body. And so that was the main reason why I started taking it. And once I started taking it, the next thing I realized about its benefit is that it helps with keeping you regular. So I'm not sure about you, but also the past several years, I was having a lot of issues with uh, staying regular. Uh, it was either constipation or either it was diarrhea or um, there were, again, with the belly bloat and the discomfort, I'm not sure if it was a diabetes or if it was just the items that I was eating, but I really haven't changed my diet uh, and I find that the milk thistle has been a huge contributor into helping me stay regular. So if you are one of those people that has those kinds of same issues, I would suggest clearing with your doctor if you can take milk thistle and then take it and see what it does. I hope it works for you like it's worked for me. The next item I take is a vitamin E. I take vitamin E because I did read that it helps nourish the body from the inside out. And in that I mean our skin. Our skin being one of the most, if not the most important organ of our body. Um, which maybe I shouldn't say that because all our organs are necessary to live, but um, it's what protects all of our other organs. And our skin needs to stay nourished and, and supple as best as we can, but definitely keep it from getting dry. We know that if we have skin areas that become dry, most especially in our feet, we can develop cracks, 
cracks can develop sores and then that is a huge problem that we just don't want to happen. So I take the vitamin E to try, to try and stay nourished from the inside out. I also will take a pill uh, capsule and maybe snip off the end of it if I feel like I'm having a particularly hard um, issue with some dry skin, mainly on my face. I have experienced rosacea and other weird skin things happening on my face and uh, to help stay healthy or help it keep um, moisturized, I will apply the vitamin E to my fingertips and tap it onto my face. I'll sleep with it on and in the morning um, it does definitely feel better, it feels moisturized and um, I'm just happy to be taking it. You know, just another battle that I'm, that I'm fighting with using the vitamin E. The next item that I take is the Mega Minerals. And so I had been taking these vitamins, you know, and not realizing that I was lacking and not giving my body the minerals that it needs. It definitely needs the iron, the copper, the magnesium, and everything else that is here in this little magical bottle that I really, really am glad that I realized that I needed to start taking. Um, I realize now that on top of just vitamins, we do need those minerals. We do, it helps keep um, our bodies nourished. Um, and I think because on a daily basis, you know, there's so much that we need to stay consuming throughout the day. Um, minerals is definitely one of them. And then the last pill that I take is a vitamin C. This is a mega dose vitamin C. It's a thousand milligrams. You may not need that much, but I feel like I need that much only because I have a compromised immune system. And so I feel that the more vitamin C I have, then my immune system may be that much stronger. And definitely during this time, you know, with COVID, but not just COVID, there could be the regular flu or there could be a stomach virus out there. Or there could just be something that vitamin C, building up our immune system is gonna help. And so this is why I take such a big dose of it. Again, I will mention that anything that you take or are considering taking, please remember to consult with your own doctor first before taking them. The last item that I take is my vitamin B. Uh, this vitamin B right now is vitamin B12 and folic acid. I also, when I'm you know, at the store, I don't have particular brands that I take consistently. I, I switch around. Uh, sometimes I'll take a vitamin B complex. And um, let's see, I think that's about it as far as my morning routine and what I take on a daily basis. Again, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're watching. Remember to like and to share this video, um, but most of all, remember to just stay healthy. Take care of your body. It's the only one that we've been given ourselves. We are the ones in charge of it. We are the ones that know what to do with it. We are the ones that know how to listen to it. And I hope that if your body is telling you right now that it's missing something, that it's, it's aching for some energy, I hope you may consider the items that I've suggested. There are a couple of other vitamins that um, I've taken every now and then that I'm not consistent with, so I'm not going to mention them. But if you have any questions about any vitamins, I would be more than happy to give my point of view on those vitamins. Again, I'm not a certified dietitian. I'm not a certified nutritionist. I'm just a lay person. I'm just a person with diabetes and I'm in the fight with you. And so if you don't have any questions and you have suggestions, I would definitely be very happy to hear from you on what you have to say. I hope you keep watching and I hope to see you soon. Take care everybody, bye-bye.